Hello again, everybody, and welcome. It's time for another Senior Spotlight. We're joined by Sean Napier of the baseball team for your John Jay Bloodhounds. And Sean, I know it was a shortened season, to say the least, and of the few games that you got in, I know it was tough to, to deal with that. But as you look at your three-plus years as a whole at John Jay, um, what are you going to remember the most? Uh, def- honestly, definitely two years ago today, actually, when uh, that, that championship run we had, that's something I'll never forget for the rest of my life. That was that was something that was just crazy. And not just that, you guys came back at such a huge deficit. Take me through the emotions yeah. of that game, because I'm sure there was a never say die attitude, but I'm sure in the back of your head, you're thinking, okay, how are we going to regroup for the next one? To be honest, like I didn't, it wasn't even really like that. It was more of just the lines of, we knew we had game left and we knew we had more heart than them. We knew we had more momentum than them, even though it didn't show on the scoreboard. And we just carried it. We just really just played with our momentum and our, our guys on the bench who really just solidified it. Like Joe Greggs just glued our team together and it, it resonated on the field. When you think about your career as a whole, do you cherish that memory the most out of all the teams that you were on? That's a tough question. I mean, definitely up there. I, w- I would probably say, yeah. I mean, getting to that championship in and of itself, is deep. I can't even explain how happy it made me, especially with those guys on that team. Some of those guys today are still my best friends today. I mean, that team was... Yeah, I would say that was number one, if I had to play a number on it. How much has Coach Joe uh, impacted your career, and what are some things that you learned uh, from him? Well, he's taught me a lot. Uh, And I would say the main focal point of what he tries to teach me has to do with more of my composure and how I I look and deal with myself on the field and off the field, I guess, as opposed to my play. Like, of course, he helps me with the fundamentals of stuff, but it's more along the lines of the composure that he knows I need more attention drawn to and he draws attention to it and helps me relax myself a lot he's very good at it now with graduation coming up what's next for sean napier i know there's a beatboxing career possibly um or freestyling (laughs) whatever but seriously what uh what line of work what's next for sean napier well actually right now um i'm gonna use that year of eligibility and come back because i'm still i still have like one or two classes i have to take so i'm gonna take that in the spring i'll be back next spring um, but for right now, I'm going to stick with the two jobs I have and hopefully go on my, for my master's next fall in social work and look to be, uh, I'm going to be like a therapist. All right. Or well, like that a sounds... client-centered therapist. Yeah. No, that sounds great. Well, Sean, I appreciate you uh, taking the time. Uh, good luck with the summer and everything, and hopefully we'll get a sense of normalcy and we'll be back on the diamond soon. Yeah, hopefully. Thanks, man.